The cardiac auscultation is something vets do every day. Listening carefully to the heart gives us a huge amount of information. It's a skill that needs to be learned, but with practice, one that you can master. Here are my top tips on how to do a good cardiac auscultation. Top tip number one, use a medical instrument, not a child's toy. I love my stethoscope, a Welsh Allen Harvey Elite. The Lippmann Paediatric is another good one. Make sure you invest in a quality stethoscope, look after it and it will look after you. Stethoscopes like the one here on the left belong in a toy box. Before you put your stethoscope on, put your hand on the patient's chest over the apex beat. Try using the palm of your hand, not your fingertips. It's probably more sensitive to subtle vibrations. Feel for the strength of the apex beat, as a strong beat may mean the heart is enlarged or under an increased load. A weak beat may mean the cardiac function is reduced. Feel for any thrills or vibrations. And if you feel a thrill, put your stethoscope head here first, as that is probably where the murmur will be loudest. Remember to palpate both sides carefully. When we listen on the left, we listen to four specific locations, which are easy to remember as A, B, C, D. A is for apex, so listen over where you feel the apex beat strongest, usually um, over the mitral valve area. B is for base, so you move your stethoscope up slightly and cranial slightly, and you're listening over the aortic valve. C is for cranial, so you usually jump a rib space further forward in most dogs, a small movement forwards in a cat, and that's the cranial region listening for the uh, pulmonary artery, the pulmonic valve. And finally, D is for ductus, and that's high up, high underneath the axilla, pushing as hard as you can underneath the muscles to see to listen for a, a ductus or a PDA. So once again, that's apex over the mitral valve, base for the aortic valve, cranial for the pulmonic valve, and high up under the axilla for the ductus. On the right-hand side, we've got three regions we're going to listen to, A, B, C. A is for apex, listening where you feel the apex beat most strongly, and there you'll hear sounds across the tricuspid valve. B is for base, move the stethoscope dorsally and cranially slightly, and you're listening again over the aortic valve. C is for cranial, on a, if you push your stethoscope a little bit further forward, this is where most VSDs will be loudest. So that's apex for the tricuspid valve, up to the base for the aortic valve, and move cranially for a VSD. Record the murmur characteristics. When does it occur? Systolic, continuous, or diastolic? How loud is it compared to the heart sounds? So quiet, moderate, loud, or thrilling, meaning you can feel the thrill. And where is it loudest? On the left or the right, over the apex or the base, etc. Then record the heart rate and rhythm. Is it regular? Regularly irregular? Regular but with some prematures? Or chaotic? <laughs>